Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, so uh, now we, I think it's a uh, week seven. So we have con, uh, we have to continue with the chapter. So this is a chapter five for macroeconomy. But for macroeconomy, actually, we only left about I think it's a three chapter, another three chapter to finish the chapter. Okay, so this is uh, one of the easier one. It's about the public finance. Okay, in the public finance, you have to know what is the government revenues and what is the government expenditure. Okay, all right. So, source of government revenue is the first is a non tax revenue. Okay, it's anything that received from the license, regulation fees, permits, and returns on investment. Okay, this is one of the government revenue so the second one this is was famous one okay i think everyone everybody knows uh this this is a types of tax okay the first one is a direct tax okay direct tax is um for students they are not paying tax okay but once you are working so you have to pay this is what we call direct tax okay example like income tax all right and then the second one is a petrol, petroleum royalty, stamp duty, real property, gain tax. Huh? So what is a direct tax? Direct tax is a tax that the burdens or incidence of the tax falls on taxpayer. You cannot be transfer or shift to somebody else. Right? So if this uh, example like income tax, all right? So it means that they are tax on your income. So you cannot transfer the burden to other people. All right. Okay. Uh, the other example is individual income tax, business income tax. It's on corporate tax. Huh? Rod tax, real property gain tax. Okay. Next is a indirect tax. Indirect tax is some. Um, okay. Export duties, import duties, excise duties, sales tax. Right. Once you go to McDonald's or KFC, you have to pay a sales tax. Okay. And then we have service tax. Right. So what is um, indirect tax? Okay. This is direct tax. This is indirect tax. Indirect tax, it means the burden or the incidence of tax, you cannot be, you can't, you can be shift to another person. Okay. All right. Right, this is what we call as uh, structures of tax. Okay, structures of tax. Actually, the structures of tax for every country is not same. Okay, it depends on that country. So, the first one is a progressive tax. What is a progressive tax? Progressive means the higher your income, the higher tax rate. Okay, it will be charged. So, larger fractions or percentage of tax as income increase. This is one of the example. You can see on the table. So let's say your income is 1,000, 2,000, and 3,000. If you see, all right, uh, if your income is 1,000 and increase to 3,000, so your tax rate also increase in the increasing rate. So it's a from 6% to 8% and finally it's to 12%. All right. So the second one is a regressive tax. What is a regressive tax? All right. Regressive means the higher the income, the lower the tax rate. It means it's um, negative relationships, smaller proportions of income. So, okay, see on the table, your income is 1,000. If your income increases to 2,000, so your tax rate will reduce to 6 to 5%. So, that is a regressive tax. The last one is a proportional tax. Proportional means constant. It means that the tax rate uh, that we charge is was constant and fixed regardless of income. Let's say um, your income is one thousand, so to two thousand, to three thousand, you have flex, uh, you have flat tax rate. It's a six percent, six percent, six percent. All right, this one is the purpose of the tax sections. Why the governments? All right. Uh, they uh, put a tax because of, of course it's a revenue for the government the first one is a revenue for the government 
Okay, the second is redistribute income and reduce income inequality. Okay, because uh, in the country, all right, uh, to achieve the high income, so you have to make sure that the gap between the income is not too large. So we have to redistribute income by paying tax. All right, and then to control the inflation. Okay, and to impose on good which are undesirable. And the last one is to protect the local industries. Okay, that is about the tax. Okay, what about the government expenditure? Government expenditure, we have two main categories. The first one is operating and the second one is the development. What is operating? Operating mean expenditure. Yes, of course. Various government department to maintain the service okay to maintain the service operate mean operations okay it's an operation it's a means for the government expenditure so example like um there is the expenditures of government that they are trying to maintain the departments example emoluments pension maintenance and repair works the second one is the developments by the words of develops okay they are focused on the whatever project that can increase the performance of the economy okay the first one is to increase the standards of living for populations and to increase the productive capacity of the economy so it's mean the example is a some project okay so they um you know they spend some expenditure on this uh, on this project and we will have short-term and long-term project so this project finally in the future they can generate the money to the uh, economy or to the country okay general administration security military police defense goods right and for social services constructions of school building more focus on the educations health and housing uh, another one like you know upgrade educations facilities and expansions and develops of university sometimes university okay we have to make some expansions and we have to upgrade the education facilities right and build hospital upgrade the facilities to increase the qualities of lives of people another one is uh, for economic sector example like agriculture and rural developments public utilities because governments is uh, focused on the public so this is the responsibility for for government to provide that and then trade industry transport for the communications okay so for economic sector is very important because we try to improve the capacity of basic physical infrastructures facilities okay we have to upgrade that so this is a types of government expenditure so when they asking you what is the types of government budget so we have three types okay we have deficit this was very famous one surplus and the balanced budget okay so uh, what is the budget deficit so we just play with the GNP okay so budget deficit means the government expenditure is more than taxes Budget surplus means government expenditure is less than taxes, and the balanced budget means government expenditure is equal to your total revenue is the taxes. G is equal to T. Alright, if we talk about the source of revenues uh, in terms of conventional part, so we have to talk about the finance. Uh, or public finance in Islamic, right? So we have source of revenue if you're Islamic country. So this is your source of revenue. The first one, this was, I think it's a very general term. It's a zakat. Everybody knows what is a zakat. Okay, zakat is a wealth, agriculture, business school, and silver. Okay, we have zakat on wealth, we have zakat on agriculture part, we have zakat on the business, uh, profit. And we also have zakat on silver or gold, all right? And then the second one is a karaj, okay? In other words, it's a land tax for and open up by the Muslim through war or not, which are not distributed to Muslim fighter, but it become the nation property. So people can use up this land. The third one is a jizya, 
Jizya is a tax imposed on non-Muslim who live in Islamic states for protections of their life and properties. So I think you can see by yourself, we have Ghanima, we have Ushir, we have Wakaf and so on. So, and then next is a government expenditure. Okay, so, so remember that this is Islamic part. So they have to fulfill the interests of the public according to the Islamic guidelines. Everything was referred to the Islamic guidelines. So priority should be based on the hierarchy of needs. All right, so um, the expenditure was spent for the following item of reasons, okay, for security, for public goods, to increase the standards of living and property of people, purpose of investment, and this is very important. When you say about the Islamic, so we are focused on the welfare of people, all right? For poor people, for sick people, for unemployed people, for elder people, okay? And then, of course, we have to pay the salaries of government officer, okay? And then infrastructure system, development expenses, education, and the subsidy or loan gift to the entrepreneur. All right, if um, chapter four, we are focused on the monetary policy. So now we are focused on the fiscal policy. Fiscal policy means uh, there's a tools of government. They are used these two tools only, government expenditures and also the taxes. So they just play whether they increase the government expenditure or reduce the taxes or increase the taxes and reduce the government expenditure. So this is types of fiscal policy, okay? We have expansionary, okay expansionary and we have contractionary contractionary means it's a tight policy so they have two condition different conditions right the first one is expansionary fiscal policy expansionary means the situation is when there is a recession okay or unemployment problem so there is a deficit budget so we have to increase g Okay, we have to increase a lot of government expenditure and we have to reduce the tax because when we reduce the tax, it can increase the economic activity. Okay, And the second one is a contractionary. Contractionary is a tight policy. So, um, expansionary for the situation when there is a recession happen. But contractionary is when the inflation happens. So to control the inflation problem, so we have to reduce the aggregate demand. The aggregate demand, if you remember back, is a C plus I plus G plus X minus M. So this is aggregate demand. So what we do is uh, we do a surplus, a surplus budget. So reduce the G or increase the T. Okay. 